she is to marry Lord Wessex. What should I do? If you love her, you must do as she asks. And break her heart and mine? It is only yours you can know. She loves me, Thomas. Does she say so? No. And yet she does where the ink has run with tears. Was she weeping when she gave you this? Uh, her letter came to me by the nurse. Your aunt? Yes, my aunt. But perhaps she wept a little. Tell me how you love her, Will. Like a sickness and its cure together. Yes. Like rain and sun. Like cold and heat. Is your lady beautiful? <clears throat> Since I, I, I came here from the country, I have not seen her close. Tell me, is, is she beautiful? Well, Thomas, if I could write the beauty of her eyes, I was born to look in them and know myself. Uh, uh, and her lips? Her lips? The early morning rose would wither on the branch if it could feel envy. And her voice, like Lark's song? Deeper, softer. None of your twittering larks. I would banish nightingales from her garden before they interrupt her song. Ah, oh, she sings too. Constantly, without doubt, and plays the lute. She has a natural ear and her bosom. Did I mention her bosom? What of her bosom? Oh, Thomas. A pair of pippins as round and rare as golden apples. I think the lady is wise to keep your love at a distance. But what lady could live up to it? Close to when her eyes and lips and voice may be no more beautiful than mine. Besides, can a, can a lady of wealth and noble marriage love happily with a, a bankside poet and player? Yes, by God. Love knows nothing of rank or river bank. It will spark between a queen and the poor vagabond who plays the king. And their love should be minded by each. For love denied blights the soul we owe to God. So tell my lady, William Shakespeare waits for her in the garden. But what of Lord Wessex? For one kiss, I would defy a thousand Wessexes. Oh, well. Thank you, my lady. Lady? It's Viola de Lesseps. Known her since she was this size. Wouldn't deceive a child. Strangely enough, I'm a bit of a writer myself. It wouldn't take you long to read it. I expect you know all the booksellers. <laughs> Can you love a fool? Can you love a player? Wait. You're still a maid. And perhaps it's mistooken me as I was mistooken Thomas Kent. Are you the author of the plays of William Shakespeare? I am. Then kiss me again, for I'm not mistook. 